I just woke up. I'm so arrested now. Finally got the living room painted. It is all done. Finally. Finally done. So glad, but it took a few days. But at least it's finished. My mom doesn't like the color. She thinks it's too light. Even though she had saw the color, because my aunt's house has this color in it. So... I don't know, she might be getting it repainted. I don't want to do it again. One time painting is enough. It's such a work chore. But having to do the trim, I mean, this time you would have to do the trim, but oh, it's just such a pain. There's supposed to be, there, we have a chair that goes in here that is this color, this pattern. So I told her the blue out of this would look good, but we'll see. I don't want to do it. <laughs> It's nice to have a day though to relax and not do anything. I'm just gonna hang out around the house. It is Halloween. I like Halloween. I wish I was doing something like on a house or something, but whatever. But it, it is nice out though. It's nice and sunny. Finally, it was gross yesterday after all the rain and stuff that came in from like the hurricane and stuff. But it's actually a nice day out today. I need to get out and do something because it is nice. I don't know what the temperature is, but. Probably better than it has been. It's been horrible. Let's see. It's probably cold. My luck. Oh yeah. Thought it was nice. 39. Fantastic. Of course. I would think it would be nice out and then it would be 39 degrees. Well, it's sunny out, so... That's a positive, but unfortunately it is cold. What's new? It is, it is the very end of October in southern Indiana, so of course it's cold. It's so nice having a boring, relaxing day. Apparently, my cat thought that she would also have a boring, relaxing day. But yeah, just watching some TV. Watch some Halloween Town. I haven't watched that in forever. And it was on, so that happened. I need to start cleaning up the living room from stuff I had out when I was painting because it is messy. And apparently, yeah, I think my cousins are coming over trick or treating. But I did, I watched some pretty amazing, an amazing YouTube video. It is called Human Wikipedia. May remembers everything. Well, well, maybe. Here we go. It's awesome. This guy can remember. If you give him a birth date and a birth year, he can tell you who it is as long as they're like famous, not just some random person. But it's amazing. I will put the link at the bottom because it's really cool. But other than that, I haven't really done anything. Check my email. Work on uploading my blog from yesterday. That's about it. But I need to clean out my clean off my computer. It's so slow. Like my Final Cut Pro runs so glitchy, and it makes me angry. But how like ah, of course my sister would be calling. All right, so apparently we were getting ready to go get <laughs> some hot dogs from Sonic because they are fifty cents, and what's better than a fifty cent corn dog? I think I said hot dog, but corn dog. What it's better than that? For Fifty cents? Absolutely nothing. We are headed home to go get paint, or go get cushions, so we can figure out what swatches the paint place is gonna recommend to paint our living room because mom doesn't like it. So, oh, I can't believe she wants it painted again. I think she's crazy. Where is my sister? But yeah, so we gotta go there. We gotta go to Home Depot. Bear recommend. Well, I don't email Bear. And they recommended a color that would be less red, so it'll probably be the exact same color it was. So stupid. People at Sonic are dressed. <laughs> Other lady, I think, is is she, is she a nun? What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna send this to Vinny. I'm gonna get a picture. This lady next to us is picking her nose. Like legit, and then she ate it.
Oh. <laughs> I think she saw me. <laughs> so I'm headed out to go get some dinner. <laughs> some more corn dogs. <laughs> so stupid, but I do love corn dogs and they're only 50 cents, so I guess you can't complain about that. And then I'm gonna go get some KFC to go with it. But um yeah. We've had a few trick-or-treaters. I think it's like 6.48 now. Trick-or-treat goes from 6 to 7, I believe. Or 6, no, 6 to 8. 6 to 8. So we could still have a few more. I don't really know. Look, where we live is a dead-end road, so we don't always ever get a whole lot of kids anyway. But hey, well, we usually don't hang out here. Because the first couple of times that we did when we lived where we do now, we didn't get a whole lot of kids, so we didn't hang out candy. But... My cousins brought their kids, her cousin brought her kids. So we handed out candy to like the neighbors and stuff, but it's because they have little kids now. But it's a nice night for it at least. It's not raining, it's not nasty, it's cold, but so I guess if you want to go trick or treating, it's not bad. I remember in undergrad, we actually did go trick or treating a couple times <laughs> just to be stupid. But hey, free candy when you're an undergrad, poor undergrad students thing to do it was fun people you got weird looks even weirder than I get from vlogging but yeah free candy I'm not gonna complain about that and it would just went around Terre Haute yeah none of us grew up in Terre Haute we didn't know any of those people we would just go to, we would always go to like the nicer neighborhoods so one we would get better candy and two we wouldn't get like attacked by some crazy person that was mad that we were not little kittens or something. I don't know. But I think I wanted to Johnny Knoxville one year or something. I don't know. It was the easiest thing I could come up with so that's what I did. But it was a good time back in Terre Haute. I've been in Terre Haute forever. But not that I miss it because I don't because it was a really boring town and it smelled bad parts of the year. Like really really smelled bad. There was, a, I think it was a paper factory, and then I think the paper factory burnt, burnt down. And then I believe there was a railroad tie factory, and like the whatever it is they put on railroad ties smelled horrible, like not good. And it, it, it was far enough away from campus if the wind was blowing just right, you wouldn't get that smell, but very frequently you would. So. It was not great, but... And now they're apparently drilling for oil in Terre Haute. Who knew? People try to cash in on anything they can, and it's like right by campus, I believe. Not really sure, but kind of stupid. I'm gonna go through Sonicville, get some corn dogs. Hopefully there's not too, not too long of a line. When we went there to get drinks earlier, it wasn't that bad. So hopefully there's not a huge line. Fingers crossed. Really, the 50 cent corn dogs is not a bad deal because they are apparently $1.29 on their menu. Why is she? Oh, Timmy said that she has so far saw a banana. They're not even handing out candy. A banana, Santa, a Ghostbuster, and a kid with a gun. Who dresses their kid as a banana? It's so weird. We, I saw, we had a Mario. One of my cousin's kids was Luke Skywalker. The other one was Bat Batgirl, I think. I think the neighbor's kid was a bunny. I don't know what else there was, but the lady at Sonic is dressed as a nun. The one earlier that I showed was the two chains, I believe. So strange. So strange. I would totally dress up though. If I worked somewhere like this, totally. I haven't dressed up in several years. Last year, the only thing we really did for Halloween was we went to a haunted corn maze. Or no, it wasn't even haunted, it was just a corn maze, but it was fun. I always feel so bad when I go to Sonic and I don't bring cash, I just have my card. Because I always tip them, like, at least a dollar. But when I bring my just my card, I never have, I never, I didn't just brought the card, I didn't bring actual cash or my old wallet. So, and they don't give you an option to get, put like a tip on the card. I always feel terrible. I like, I don't, I don't know. We go there all the time. They, they every time we order, literally, they literally know what all we want. They're like, oh yeah, we got it. 
and then just get bring it to us. But like they should just know the cars and be like, hey, that's what they're coming for, because we get the same thing. My dad usually does, and it just depends. My dad will sometimes get a slushy, but it's always two vanilla Coke Zeros with the or yeah, two vanilla Coke Zeros and a grape Coke. I always have to have grape Coke. So. The guy the other day told me that he. It never has anybody else that gets that and was asking if it's good that they always ask me that but it is really good and I love grape so that's probably why I think it's really good but there are a lot of people out right now. <laughs> Seymour is never this busy like there's tons of cars. I guess everyone wants to go trick-or-treating. I'm surprised they didn't have trick-or-treating on a weekend but the weekend was kind of crappy weather-wise so it's probably better they did it during the week. I don't know. I don't remember if we had it on weekends when I was little or not. Oh, this is Sonic. I don't know. I know we always went when I was little, but I don't know if it was. I guess you don't really pay attention to the day of the week or what. I believe when I was little, I went as a Power Ranger once, a Ninja Turtle, an, another Power Ranger, like the Ninja ones from the movie. Um. What else did I go as? The Grim Reaper one year, I had one of those, I like, had like a hood that came up and the like, face thing that was like black see-through kind of, like meshy type material. <sighs> I don't know what else. Nothing too creative, I don't think. I don't know, maybe a clown. Because we, we had a thing called Jackson Jugglers. Jackson was the elementary school I went to and then they had like a juggling group and for some reason did that when I was a kid so I could juggle but um yeah I dressed up as a clown for that <laughs> something else uh, the other one I think I was like a muscle man or something I did a little scrawny kid as a muscle man that makes sense because I was not real tall and I was just like really skinny little kid but didn't really make much sense that's the way it was. I mean, it was. A, I was a Jackson juggler. How does that make sense? It doesn't. So we also got. We went to the Home Depot and one of the local decorating places and got more paint swatches because apparently my mom wants to paint our living room back to the color it was. Uh, I mean, she claims that it's a different color and it's more yellowy, gold, or brown or whatever. It's the same color, and she's gonna be just as unhappy with it. Whatever. And I was like, I'm not helping. I did it once. Not a big painting fan. <laughs> Maybe one day when I have my own house. Probably won't be much different. I would probably hire somebody. <laughs> but oh, I'm so ready to find a job. I applied to a couple more places. One in Miami and one in Detroit, I believe. The one I would like to I would really like the one in Detroit. It's more civil litigation, which is fine with me. I will whatever <laughs> and they want like a recent graduate this guy <laughs> hopefully i just want to find a job so we can figure out where we're moving what's going on oh so bad i just want to be back out on my own i hate being i don't yeah i'm not a big fan of being at home it's not horrible but it's not the same it's not i can't be with tiffany all the time i i just like to be able to go and come do whatever i want out of my own basically stupid but not I mean I've been out on my own for three years I don't want to I don't want to spend money living on my own <laughs> unless I have a job obviously and two I don't want to this is tight I don't want to um, uh, that would be different I don't want to um, be at home that much longer <laughs> I just want to get on get some experience ideally I would like to work for a car company as in-house counsel or anywhere is it? I would really like to do in house counsel, but civil litigation, I'm fine with that. That way, especially too, I need to be signing up for the bar soon so I know where, what state I'm gonna take the bar in. I don't really want it to be in Indiana, but there are kids trick or treating. I don't know what they are. Nothing, nothing that I can tell. That girl's got like a bloody jacked up face, but other than that, I don't really know what those kids were, were or were supposed to be. I think the one may be an angel. The girl, the girl literally looked like she just had her regular clothes on with a busted face. That's it. 
Ugh. I'm always I don't like to drive on Halloween night because I'm afraid I'm gonna run over some little kid. But seriously, make it happen. That's a possibility. That's real.